abiondemand.com. Automotive training you can receive anywhere, anytime. Your online training starts here. This vehicle behind me has a misfire code. Now, what we'd like to point out is if it is an ignition-related misfire, all we basically have to, look, to do is look at the fuel trim values because an ignition-type misfire will not cause significant fuel trim corrections. But if it's an air-fuel ratio-type misfire, for example, like a lean density misfire from a bad injector, vacuum leak, bad mass airflow, you will see double-digit fuel trim corrections. So this Ford Expedition behind me has a P0300. Now I'd like to take a look at my short-term fuel trim values on a scan tool right by my pointer here. You can see the short-term fuel trim is adding 40.6%. That tells us right away it is a lean density misfire. All the secondary components in the world is not going to fix this problem. Your misfire here again is a lean density misfire. Now let's say that you had an ignition related misfire and you just went to global side of scan tool and you looked at the short term fuel trim and coupled with the long term fuel trim, if it's an ignition related misfire, you will only see single digit fuel trim correction. So it's an easy way to determine, determine if it's ignition related misfire. It's, you know, very, very small amount of fuel trim corrections. Or if it's a lean density misfire, double digit fuel trim corrections, just like we're showing you right now on the Molly Tech Pro Scan Tool. If you professional parts people where a customer comes into your store with a check engine light on and obviously we know that you go out there and plug in a car and hopefully with a global OBD2 scan tool and keep in mind on the global side of scan tool there are nine modes. If you're just reading the code you're in mode three. So let's say for example that check engine light's on, it has a misfire code and let's say a P0300 series code. That's what you will get off mode three, just to read the code. But why not take a little bit of extra time and bop over to mode two and read the freeze frame? So here's what we're after. We're address, addressing specifically misfire codes. Now we typically know in the real world that if you have a misfire code, usually in a lot of cases, it's ignition related. Maybe the guy needs spark plugs, wires, coils, whatever. But take a minute and bop over to mode two on the global side of scan tool and read the freeze frame. If you look at my screen right now on this 1997 Lumina 3.1, the mill light is on with a P0300. So what we're doing, we're going to mode two, we're going to investigate the freeze frame, and what we're after here is specifically focus on the short-term and long-term fuel trim. The P seems said that it caught, it caught a P0300, as you can see, at idle, 750 RPM, engine temperature 186 degrees Fahrenheit, Obviously, he's in park, he's not going down the road, but focus on the short-term and long-term fuel trim. You can see a short-term fuel trim is only adding 7%, where the long-term fuel trim is taking, taking away 3%. When you combine both those together, it comes up with what we call total fuel trim. So in this case, obviously, only a 4% correction. That would tell us the misfire is likely caused by a loss of spark, bad coil, bad plug, bad wire. Now, on the flip side of the coin, let's say you have a vehicle comes in, mill light's on, and it has a misfire code, in this case, a 1997 Saturn. Mill light's on with a P0302. Now take a look at the short-term and long-term fuel trim. You can see when you combine both of those together, your total fuel trim is adding 27%. That would tell you right away it is a lean density misfire. All the secondary components in the world is not going to correct that problem. Now what you have to keep in mind, and you can easily find, find this out by looking at the freeze frame, is the fact that these modern day vehicles, when a PC detects a misfire bad enough, it will force the vehicle back in open loop, which means that your short term and fuel your short term and long term fuel trim values are worth worthless. So you have to make sure that the problem is caught in closed loop and then look at your fuel trim values. Remember, an ignition related misfire, loss of spark will not cause a significant fuel trim shift in your freeze frame data, whereas a lean density misfire will create double digit fuel trim additions or corrections adding fuel. Now, on the flip side of the coin, if you had a rich density misfire, 
obviously your total field term would go to minus value double digit. So in closing, when you read a code, you are in mode three. Take a minute and go back to mode two, read the freeze frame. If your field term values are single digit corrections, your misfire is ignition related. If your field term corrections are double digit, adding fuel or taking fuel away, it is an air fuel ratio type misfire.